Hey everyone, welcome back. And if you're new, welcome, glad to have you. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a see-through shaker card. So you'll be able to see through into the inside of the card. So I've got one already done here. And I know it's not making a lot of sense. So we'll do another one. Let me just move on over. I'll zoom out just a little bit. Okay, so I got my main card here. This is my standard size. You do whatever size you want to do. And I want to do one of these three ornaments to be a shaker ornament. And I think I like the one on the right the best. So we'll go with that one. Now to find these ornaments, just search ornament. Okay, so these two dark inserts here, those are gonna be the acetate paper. You need two of them. So main card, two sheets of acetate paper. This one I'm gonna change the color of. We'll make this yellow. And this isn't the color I'm gonna go with. So this is the ornament we want. So we're going to duplicate it first. And the reason for duplicating it is we need to hide all contours. We're gonna place that where we want it, but we're gonna throw some text on here too. So let's get that ready as well. I'm going with the BFC Christmas cards text. I think it is adorable. So we'll do Merry Christmas. We will align the center and we'll bring it over and let's size it. Just go a little smaller there. That should be good there. So I think right about there is going to be good. So I'm highlighting the solid ornament and the insert. We are going to align center horizontally. And I had it lined up pretty good. And we're going to click slice. Give my system a second to catch up. There we go. So get rid of the cutouts. You don't need those. Now you're going to take your insert. You're going to duplicate it. And if this is a different image where it's not the same shape forwards and backwards, at this point you would want to flip your duplicated image. Thankfully on this one we don't have to do it. But what we do have to do is take our ornament. We're going to duplicate that. And this one that we duplicated, we're going to flip horizontally. So you can see they don't line up anymore, but they're gonna be front to back and they will line up. So we got one more thing we need to do. I'm gonna take our little insert. I'm going to go into shapes, grab a circle. And I'm going to make it a little bigger than the circle on there. That should be good. I'm going to go back into shapes, grab another circle. And again, I'm just making the cutout of the ornament just a little bigger. So I'm highlighting the big circle. I'm highlighting the small circle. You can see on the right on the layer screen, they're highlighted and I'm going to weld them together. Now let's move my acetate paper ones. I'm going to my card. I'm detaching my score line. I'm taking my welded result, clicking shift, going to the card and clicking shift and I'm clicking slice. So we'll give that a second. So we've cut out. A couple things there. Put your card back on your score line. Highlight both of them. Align center 
reattach them. At this point, your score line will be on the back. Don't worry about it, you've just reattached them. So now we've got some panels. So there, the one I just put in there is the inside panel. This one we will arrange to the front will be the outside panel. See, they line up perfectly because we duplicated it. This, whatever you cut it out of, vinyl or cardstock, there's the front. The other one goes on the inside. And there we go. We've built the card. So it's quite a few pieces. One card, two pieces of acetate paper, your front panel, your back panel, and then this particular one that I've done, because I want the ornament to be a different color than the front paper, I've got two of those. There's a couple of the designs I did. I'm going to put those together off camera and I'll show you so you can see there's more than one way to do this. But I'm going to get everything cut out and we'll put one of the cards together then I'll show you the rest. So as you can see I've got everything cut out. I've put together the first layer of the card. We'll put the second layer together so you can see how I did that. So I'm using tape gun. This is actually Tombow and Tombow liquid glue. It was on sale at the craft store, so that's why I have that one. So start with your top piece there. Add your glue or your tape. You see I'm trying to get as close as possible to the cutout portion. Now let's get this attached. Now if you don't get this straight on attached and it's kind of hanging over a little bit, that's fine. You can trim it down with your scissors. Okay, so there's that one done. And now this one, just because it's so intricate, I'm gonna use the fine point tip on the glue. I'm just adding some blobs here and there. It'll go around the outside. This glue does dry clear. line it up. It should fit in there perfectly. So we'll let this one dry but because I've already done the other one already we can start working on this one. This will be our front. So I've got Merry Christmas. Just gonna add that with some Dollar Tree shelf liner. Okay, now for the tape. 
So just using a regular roll, I'm gonna pause you and I'll be back with all my tape on there. So I've folded my card there. I've got my tape on the front one. So I have found the easiest way to do this. And remember, I have a silicone mat so things don't stick to it. Is flipping the card right side up and then lining it up. All right, so now we got the first one on there. This one's still drying, so we have to wait a few more minutes. But you can see the cutout from the card, a little bit of the tapes on there. I got to decide what color shaker stuff I want to put in there. I've got gold, silver. I picked up some Christmas colors. Just looking for it. And the green could look really nice in there. Yeah, green sparkles. Let's do that one. This was a three pack. It came with white, red, and green. So the green's the one I haven't used. So with the card facing the way it is right now, you just shake them in there. Flatten them out a bit. You don't want to overfill it. Or they'll all get kind of stuck. A little bit more and that should be good there. Okay, so for the next part, you have a couple options. You can 3D tape the inside. You could use your tape runner or you can use glue. If you use glue, make sure you put enough on there that it seals completely. So I'm gonna use glue so I can line everything up better. And hopefully by the time I'm done gluing this up, the front part of the card will be dry. So on the Tombow, it's got the brush on the one side. So that's what I am using. So it leaves a nice amount of glue. I'm going around the circle. Okay. That guy out of the way. So with the sparkles in there, it's a little hard to line it up, but do the best you can. Press down so all that glue adheres. And be careful not to move it. So I had to push it back and let it dry. Here is the final card. So you can see the see-through part there. Open it up. I probably put a little bit too much for the green sparkles in this one. It's so hard to judge. After you got it done, just give it a shake every which way to make sure nothing's falling out. But I'll show you a couple other ones that I did. So I did a snowman. So we got some snow in there for him. And then I used vinyl as the outline there. There he is on the inside. So he lined up really good. Then I put Let It Snow. It is getting a little lost in there, so a little disappointed with that one. And then I did Santa flying over the houses. I got Ho 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 on there. Hopefully that's being picked up. Oh, I lost a little sparkle. It might've come from one of these. I did check them all. So if you lose one or two, that's okay. You don't have to worry about it. But there you go. That's how you make see-through shaker cards. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I really appreciate it. And I appreciate you. Until next time.